What's up travelers? In this video, we're in Athens, Greece. This one's about the Savlaki, so stick around. We're heading over to Efteros Opolikis, which is a Savlaki place that's been open since 1951. They're best known for their spicy Savlaki, so we're gonna go check that out. So this bottom one here is the one that Mark Weens had on his channel a few years ago, but I think I'm gonna go for the pita. Got my spicy Slovaki pita here. Let's check this thing out. Mm. Wow. They aren't lying when they say it's spicy. <laughs> oh man. This is good, man. Ooh not for the pain of heart though. This is a hot that I'm not used to, it's hard to explain. Black pepper, but like, like 50 times more intense. Mm. I'm not even sure what spice they're using, but it's, it's good. I'm lucky that it came in a small portion. <laughs> If you're into spicy food, really, really spicy food, you'd like this, but it's not for me. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, it's delicious. It hurts. <laughs> Woo, got some napkin getting in the way there. I'm going to take one more bite and that's going to be that with this place. We're gonna go to a place called Falafelas and get ourselves a falafel sandwich. I've heard this is the, probably the best place to get a falafel here in Athens, but we're gonna have to find out for ourselves.
check this thing out. Looks like it's got white sauce, probably a sour cream of some sort, a spicy sauce, some paprika, eggplant, some pickles, and of course those falafel balls are hidden down in there as well. Pretty excited to try this one. So while I was standing in line, some lady told me this is for sure the best falafel in all of Athens, if not Greece. He definitely, if you come in here, she said that this is the place that you gotta go if you want a falafel. Let's kind of peel this back a little bit and get into it. Food, 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 food. Well, this is why we're tasting travel. Falafel has such a silky smooth texture to it once you get past the crispness of, of the frying of it. Man, that is good. Just all the flavors combined together, it just it creates a symphony. And it is messy. You know food's good when it's messy. But yeah, that tahini sauce, next to none. For two euros, 80 cents, what a deal. I also got a Vicos Lemonade. These things are, this company, Vicos, they're, they're really good. Every product I've had from them has been just great. It's all fairly low calorie too. But yeah, sparkling lemonade. And I've also got a sparkling orangeade, a cola, a stevia cola, and a sour cherry. They've got a meatball sandwich there too that we didn't try. I'm guessing it's probably pretty good as well. I'm gonna finish eating this and then I'll see you at the next spot. Walking up on the next spot, it's a place called Pukut. I've been told by somebody I trust that this place has the best of Laki in Athens. Here we are, we are at Hukat. Like I said, I heard this place has the absolute best savaki in all of Athens. I didn't necessarily get savaki. Instead, I got this uh, black pig sausage uh, wrap. Nice pita here. So it's got black pig sausage, Hukat spice sauce, Greek yogurt, tomato, red onion, paprika, and the pita. So uh, let's give that a shot. Huh? So much flavor. 
flavor. I don't even know where it's all coming from. Wow, that is incredible. Now you get the tanginess from the yogurt and that spice sauce. It hits home really nice too. But oh my god, that sausage. That sausage is fantastic. The spicy sauce, it's got a little, it's got kind of a mustardy flavor to it. There's more to it than that, too. I think it's got some traditional Greek spices added to it. But it's definitely like a honey mustard. It's a spicy honey mustard. But, man, that sausage. You know, a lot of people would argue that, that Germany has the best sausages in the world. I don't know. I, of course, I haven't been to Germany yet, but every Greek sausage that I've had as of yet has just been wow. It, I mean, that's it's really all the only way I can explain it is wow. It's so good. The next one I got, it's a way different type of thing. So, like I said, the next one. Kind of a little bit something different. This is a squid pita. First time I've seen this in all of Greece that I've been at. It has tarama salada, spicy sauce, tomato, spring onion, dill, paprika, and of course the pita bread. Pretty excited. I love me some squid. Uh, I can tell that this squid is uh, deep fried. I haven't had any fried squid here in Greece yet, so this will be, be a first for that too. Okay, honestly, you don't really get the flavor of the squid until about the time you're ready to swallow. However, this thing is crunchy and it's so enjoyable that you get all the flavor from all the other ingredients and it just, it just makes it totally worth eating. Oh yeah. So this place isn't really the cheapest place in town, but you get what you pay for. So usually you'll, you'll run into a, a pita sandwich, it'll be about two euros 50 cents. This one, the squid, it was four euros 80 cents. The black pig sausage one was four euros 60 cents. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and finish eating this. Go ahead check this video out here. We're going to go through the most recent series that we have playing right now, Tasting Travel. And down here is another video that you might be interested in. Click right here to subscribe if you already have. And if you're in Seattle, eat a bag of bills.